Kentlix, balancing redox reactions. There are several different methods available to balance redox equations. The easiest one uses half reactions. This video will show you how to use the half reaction method. We'll illustrate how to use this method by going through an example. We are asked to balance the equation H2O2 plus Cl207 2 minus forms ClO2 2 minus plus O2, taking place in basic solution. We start by breaking this reaction up into two half reactions. The H2O2 on the left forms O2 on the right. We balance the skeleton half reaction using the rules of balancing half reactions. First of all, there are no elements other than oxygen or hydrogen, so we start with the oxygen. There are two oxygens on both sides, so the oxygen is already balanced. Our next step is to balance hydrogen atoms. There are two hydrogens on the left and none on the right. So to balance the H's, we add two H pluses on the right side. Our next step is to balance charge. The total charge on the left side is zero, and the total charge on the right side is zero plus positive two, which is a total of positive two. To balance charge, we add two electrons to the right side. So the total charge on the right side is now zero plus two plus negative two, which is zero the same as the charge on the left side. The half reaction is now balanced in acid solution. We can now start writing the second half reaction. We start by writing the Cl2 O7 2 minus on the left side here. This forms the product ClO2 2 minus. We now balance the skeleton half reaction. We start with the atom other than oxygen or hydrogen, which in this case is chlorine. There are two chlorine atoms on the left and only one on the right. So we write the coefficient two in front of the ClO2 2 minus on the right side. Each side now has two chlorine atoms. The next step is to balance the oxygen atoms. There are seven oxygen atoms on the left side and two times two equals four oxygen atoms on the right side. So we must add three more oxygen atoms to the right side. We do this by adding three H2O molecules to the right side. You can see the right side now has a total of four plus three, which is seven oxygen atoms, equal to the seven oxygen atoms on the left side. The next step is to balance H atoms. There are three times two or six H atoms on the right side, and there are none on the left side. To balance H's, we add six H plus signs to the left side. So now there are six H atoms on each side, so H's are balanced. The next step is to balance ionic charge. The total charge on the left side is negative two and positive six, which is a total of positive four. The total charge on the right side is two times negative two, or negative four, plus zero, which is a total of negative four. The charges are equal and opposite, but they must be the same. In order to balance charge, we add electrons to the more positive side. Adding eight electrons to the left side, which have a total charge of negative eight, will give the left side a net charge of positive four and negative eight, which is negative four. So the charge is now balanced being negative four on both sides, and this half reaction is balanced in acid solution. Our next step is to write the balanced equation for the overall redox reaction. We start by drawing a line under these half reactions. We see that the top half reaction has two electrons on the right side, and the bottom one has eight electrons on the left side. In order to equalize the electrons lost to those gained, we put brackets around the top reaction and multiply the whole thing by four so that we will have four times two, or eight electrons on the right side to match those on the left side of the bottom reaction. We need to multiply everything in the top reaction by four and add the two reactions together. We'll start by adding up everything on the left side of the arrows. So we have four times one equals four H2O2, one Cl207 two minus, and six H plus ions from the left side. Since we now have eight electrons on both sides, we can ignore the electrons. Next, we add up everything on the right side of the arrows. 
We'll put our arrow here so we have room to write all the products and still fit this into the width of the video. If you were doing this in your notebook, you could write the overall reaction all in one line. We have 4 times 1, which are 4 molecules of O2, and 4 times 2, which are 8 H plus ions from the top reaction, and 2 ClO2 2 minus ions, and 3 H2O from the right side of the bottom reaction. If we focus on H pluses, we see we have 6 H plus ions on the left and 8 H plus ions on the right. We can simplify H pluses by subtracting 6 H plus ions from both sides. This leaves us with no H plus ions on the left side, and 8 minus 6, which are 2 H plus ions on the right side. So we can now rewrite the equation as 4 H2O2 plus Cl2O7 2 minus gives 4 O2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 ClO2 2 minus plus 3 H2O. However, the original instructions told us to write the balanced overall redox reaction in basic solution. This reaction has H plus ions in it, so it is an acid solution. If we had been asked to write the balanced overall redox reaction in acid solution, then this would be our final answer. But in this case, we must change it to basic solution. In order to change an overall reaction from acidic solution to basic solution, we add the following equation. H plus plus OH minus gives H2O. Or its reverse, H2O gives H plus plus OH minus. Whichever one works to cancel out any H plus ions we have in the acidic overall reaction. We multiply this equation by the factor n, which gives us the correct number of H plus ions we need to cancel the ones we have in the acidic equation. For example, if we add two H plus ions in the acidic equation, the value of n would be two. If we add four H plus ions in the acidic equation, the value of n would be four. Remember that all species in the equation in the brackets must be multiplied by the factor n. For example, if there are 4 H plus ions on the right side of the acidic equation, then n equals 4. And to cancel 4 H plus ions that are on the right, we must add the equation which has 4 H plus ions on the left, which would be H plus plus OH minus gives H2O, all multiplied by 4. So the equation that we would add would be 4 H plus plus 4 OH minus gives 4 H2O. The 4H plus ions on the left of this equation will cancel the 4H plus ions on the right side of the acidic overall equation. But we must not forget to add the 4OH minus and the 4H2O to the overall acidic equation. Let's go back to our original example and see how this is done. We have two H plus ions on the right side of our acidic equation that we must cancel. So we add the equation H plus plus OH minus gives H2O with H plus ions on the left side, and multiply everything in this equation by 2. The equation we add then is 2H plus plus 2OH minus gives 2H2O. We cancel out the 2H plus ions, leaving us with this. We draw a line underneath and add up everything we have. On the left we have 4H2O2 plus Cl2O7 negative 2, plus 2 OH minus, which gives the products 4 O2 plus 2 Cl O2 negative 2, plus a total of 2 plus 3 H2O, which is 5 H2O. This is now our final overall equation for the redox reaction taking place in basic solution. At this point, we must check the equation to make sure both ionic charges and atoms are balanced. We'll start with the charges. On the left side, we have 0 plus negative 2 plus 2 times negative 1, or negative 2. So the total charge on the left side is 0 plus negative 2 plus negative 2, which equals negative 4. On the right-hand side, we have 0 plus negative 4 plus 0, which is also a total of negative 4. So charges are balanced, 
Next, we'll check hydrogen atoms. On the left, we have 8 plus 2, which is 10. On the right, we have 5 times 2, which is also 10. So hydrogen atoms are balanced. Next, we'll check the chlorine atoms. We have two chlorine atoms on the left and two on the right. So chlorine atoms are balanced. Lastly, we'll check oxygen atoms. We have eight oxygen atoms here, plus seven here, plus two here. This gives us a total of eight plus seven plus two, or 17 oxygen atoms on the left side. On the right side, we have eight oxygen atoms here, plus four here, plus five here giving us a total of 8 plus 4 plus 5, which is also 17. So oxygen atoms are balanced. Now we have finished. We have our balanced overall redox reaction taking place in basic solution. And that's what we were asked for. Thanks so much for watching this Chemflix video. I hope it helped you out. If you need more help on redox reactions or any other topic in chemistry, feel free to email me at decalger at gmail.com. Or if you Google Chem 12, you will quickly find my website, Calder Chemistry, which has a ton of free resources to help you learn chemistry.